Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you, do, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we got these cool new outfits as, as well as some uh, cool new equipment that we'll go ahead and check out right now. Oof, the steel pipe is actually really helpful, but it has some pretty bad accuracy. Plus it's only two points higher than our C's sword. So, yeah, let's just equip all of the C's equipment. So yeah, in, in the previous episode, I was gonna make a joke about how, oh, Fuka gets to... Fuka gets to refer to Takeba as Yukari, but she specifically asks us to refer to her as Takeba. I see how it is. Um, and then I sort of realized, Takeba doesn't really like any of us here in C's. She's alright with us. She actively dislikes Mitsuru. She's like very wary of Sonata because he because she thinks that he pressured Fuka into joining. And she as you can and as you have probably picked up throughout the let's play, she really doesn't like Junpei and she also doesn't seem to like the chairman. So the only person here that she act actually likes to hang out with is Fuka, the new recruit. There's also another joke that I was going to- Oh, right. The chairman, uh, Chairman Akutsuki in the last episode, he was like, We just barely got by, um, with the, uh, shadows from the last boss fight. And I know that- And, and I know that he means that, uh, I know that he means that, you know, Takeba and Mitsuru got attacked. Um, but I kicked those things' asses. I absolutely destroyed them. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, what's up, Fuka? I'll be here to provide backup from now on. When I'm geared up just like everyone else, it really gets me psyched up. Yeah, having these cool new outfits is really awesome. Uh, both these outfits and the Theurgy attacks are something that did not exist at all in the original versions of Persona 3. This is completely exclusive to Reload, and as we'll get into, Theurgy attacks are super cool, and I hope they appear in Persona 6 as well. I can't go without you, but I'll do my best back to back you up from here. Looks like we're here. Yamagishi, do you copy? Yes, I'm here! Are you picking up any shadows? Um, it looks like there's one close by. Be careful! All right, let's head over there and feel things out. One thing that I might have mentioned before... Oh, it's been a while since I felt this kind of tension. Hmm. Think you can keep up after all this time? Honestly. Believe me, I have no intention of falling behind. Uh, one thing that I've probably brought up before is that... Oh, You're keep getting interrupted. Shadow. Get ready for battle! Roger that. I'm always ready. Leader, are you ready? Then let's go. Okay, that good. That was a back attack. We've caught them by surprise. So, what we're doing right now is we're just kind of uh, attacking to build up. Um, what's it called? We're just attacking to help build up our theurgy. So, uh, we have Mitsuru here, who has Bufu skills, both Bufu and Mabufu. Uh, as well as Rakunda, which lowers defense, and Marin Karen. An attack that is a huge meme that I'll get to in just a bit. Um, guess I'll just go with Mabufu. I'm far more in my element here. Let me show you that I haven't lost my touch. Let's go! Not out of this yet. Hell yeah! Now's your chance! She's so cool. Looks like everything went well. Fuka, you were amazing. Great job. Thank you, Yukari chan. I still send some enemies nearby. Keep an eye out if you decide to engage them. Oh, we're engaging them, all right. I guess this is technically a Tartarus episode, although we're not really going to go past, like, 
the first, like, a couple floors, because this is mostly just a tutorial. Oh. Didn't back attack, so... Thankfully, we don't have to worry about um, them attacking first. I suspect this won't be too difficult because, you know, we're doing a tutorial after all, so... I'm gonna give Sonata the uh, ability to attack here because, again, we haven't really gotten to see him all that much. We fought a boss fight with him and that's about it. Although he did do very good on that boss fight. Despite his lower level. This is over. And there's his splash screen. By the way. Well, the combat uniform seems to be working out, but what about that theurgy thing? Yamagishi, have you figured out anything on your end? Um, I'm sorry, but it's still unclear. I'm picking up something during battle, though. I see. There's no pressure, just continue your observation. Oh, hello. Only one shadow left, you can do it. Let's do this. Last one. Don't hold back. Alright, there's the stairs, which we can't go up. Still some shadows on this floor. Please defeat them. Fuka, you clearly don't understand how we operate around here. We rush past floors as fast as we can and then deal with the consequences later. Here in Persona games, we all all of the characters like to operate Let's behind a thick behind an act first, think later approach here, so. They're all weak to Bufu, so thankfully this battle, just like the others, won't take long at all. Crushing victory. I no longer detect any shadows. All the ones on this floor have been defeated. It's all coming back to me. It would be wise for me to keep battling. Let's keep going then. Um. You've already found the stairs, right? Should we head there now? Absolutely. Thank you, Fuka. something on the floor above us. Something strange. Is it some kind of powerful shadow? No, it's... It feels similar to the distortion I felt earlier. Roger, let's move carefully and assess the situation when we get upstairs. on this floor. So they separated us by force. There's danger lurking in this darkness. We need to regroup as soon as possible. Yamagishi, can you guide us? Uh, why now? Fuka, where should I go if I want to... Theurgy activation. Uh, 
Basically, if you perform a certain action throughout the course of the battle, then you'll be able to activate your Theurgy. When you press R2, you'll have a cool new attack, Cyclone Arrow. This one deals severe wind damage. Good to see you're okay. Thanks, but you shouldn't be so reckless. Takeba, leader! Looks like you both are okay. Sorry I worried everyone. It's alright. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. <sighs> Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Good work out there, team! I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. You did great for your first time. I agree. I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. It was all you, Yukari-chan. That special attack sure was cool, though, Yukatan. How'd you do it? How? I just focused really hard and thought to myself, I have to do whatever it takes. And while I was thinking that, I kind of felt something surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. Right. Although, I'm still not entirely sure how it works. From what I could tell, it reacted to Yukari-chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions are heightened? Uh, I don't really get it. But basically, if we're fired up enough, we can really pop off, right? And thanks to you, Yukari-chan, we have a good idea of how it works. From now on, I should be able to tell when someone can use theirs. It's all thanks to Yukari. I, I didn't do much. I just got lucky. I don't know much more than anyone else. I'll do more research into how the sinking with emotions works later. Everyone has different feelings when they're fighting, so the timing on when they can use these will probably be different, too. I'd like to give it a go myself, but we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. I'm a little worried about the change with the floors, though. What if something like that happens again? Yes. If something has changed in the tower, we'll need to be extra careful when exploring from now on. In any case, we may have had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Aw, Kirijo-senpai! Quit buttering me up. Just leave everything to Junpei Iori. The soon to be MVP. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything today. You know what? I'll actually take what, back what I said at the beginning of the episode. Uh, Yuki straight up called Takeba Yukari to her face, and she didn't seem to have a problem with it necessarily. So yeah, Yuki's definitely high up on Yukari's tier list of people. Who are we going to hang out with today? Hello, this is oh, Elizabeth! Speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked path is, path is now open. I should check it out next time I go to Tartarus. So yeah, we're not going to go to Tartarus right away, though. Also, no another message. Uh, because there is still something that I'm waiting for. Tomachika, you're the last person I wanted to text from. I could already up your social link. Home shopping show. I don't have any money on me, so I'm not going to be buying stuff from the home shopping show. Uh, Tomachika, 
Although I'm not the biggest fan of you, I mean, I don't mean any, I don't have any ill will when I say that hanging out with you today would be a literal waste of time. So we're gonna head over to the shrine instead. Oh, there's something here apparently, so. <gasps> Ooh, there's some. Oh, right, right, right. Um. Mitsuru actually has something for a quest. What is it? To come to think of it, Elizabeth asked me to get a specific item for her. Hmm, you're looking for a triangular sword. What? Is that supposed to be a riddle? I'm not sure what you mean. Hmm, a triangular object used for dueling. By any chance, are you talking about a fencing epee? It's not a triangular sword, no, but it's a cross sec. But the cross section does resemble a triangle. Let me retrieve mine for you. Here you go. Do you plan on taking up fencing? So I can teach you a thing or two once I have some spare time. Hmm? Mr. Okoda's punishment. When there's some things in life you don't want to know about, well, this is one of them. Jeez. <laughs> I mean, he totally deserves it, whatever happened to him, because he was like a huge jackass, but gosh. I thought that we were supposed to stay in the dorm on our days off, or rather I used to think so. Yukari-chan mentioned earlier that she was going to visit the shrine, so we have some more freedom here than I expected. It's a new experience for me. There actually might be something cool at uh, the shrine that I'll get to in a second. An enemy that only appears on a full moon. Maybe I should reorganize my training regimen while I still have the time. Let's see. Polonium Mall will head over here to deposit our stuff with Elizabeth, and then we'll head to the Naganaki Shrine. Bingo, that is indeed what I requested, a fencing epee. I don't know how to pronounce that. As I mentioned before, an epee was used in duel to duel in ancient times. Fencers would wear white uniforms so that the blood from struck blows would be more visible. Request. Now a special quiz for you. Do you know why my clothes are blue? Because it suits you? <laughs> I will ask my master for the correct answer. <laughs> Please take this as your reward. Gallon sneakers. Oh, new thing. Uh, bring me po protein not for pros. Of course. This time I'd like you to, to bring me some protein, but not just for any but not just any protein. I like the one that even amateurs would be able to consume. Would you try looking for something like that? If such a thing even exists, of course. I think I know who's gonna give us that. Yep. Oh, hey Yuki. You want some protein? Gonna start bodybuilding, eh? <laughs> I'm proud of you. I, I, I can give you something meant for beginners. Yeah. Here, it's called Amateur Protein. It's specially formulated for people like you. So it's kind of a... You know how sometimes in uh, fandoms, how a character will eat food? like, on screen, and then it'll suddenly become a running joke in the fandom that, like, that's one of their only personality traits for some reason. Well, imagine that, but it's canon. Because, for some reason, in every appearance Akihiko has after Persona 3, he's, like, obsessed with protein. It's like crack for him. It's very strange. I mean, I get that he's a bodybuilder, but I don't know what the like, obsession is with protein specifically. And I don't even think he mentioned protein all that much in the original Persona 3. I think maybe there's, like, one or two lines where protein is mentioned. And then that just kind of became his entire personality after this. This must be the brand of protein specially designed for amateur athletes. Amateur protein. How can it be both for amateurs and pros? <laughs> ah, the word protein doesn't have anything to do with professionals. How very interesting. Thank you very much. I am sure this must be quite valuable, so you ha may have it back. Spiked bat, I think that's probably for Junpei? Yeah, spiked bat, 120! I don't think I'm gonna be using Junpei all that much after this, but if I did, I would definitely equip this, although it does have 85 accuracy. Not that much worse than what he already has right now. Alright, now for Naganaki Shrine. Is there the thing here that I'm thinking about? Yes, indeedy! Oh, Yuki-kun, we were just talking about you. Let me introduce you to Amada-kun. Nice to meet you. My name is Ken Amada. I attend Gukokan Elementary School. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Be friends with him, all right? He's a good kid. Amada-kun drops by the shrine pretty, pretty often. It's close to our dorm, you know. So if you ever see him, say hello, okay, Yuki-kun? So yeah, Ken Amada is a character we'll get to see a bit more of a little bit later. But for now, we can see him just talking with Yukari and Junpei gonna start getting used to calling Yukari by her first name now. Alright, Yuko, let me hang out with you more. For some reason, your social link just 
doesn't want me to pro to progress it. Blessings to the believer. Suddenly feel closer to Yuko. I have little luck. 500 yen coin in my pocket. Not too shabby. I've been saying that a lot recently. I don't know why. I've just been trying to find new phrases to say to express my excitement. Once again, I'll be substituting for Kurijo Senpai as your navigator from now on. Please let me know if you want to go to Tartarus. Um, I'll do my best. So now we don't have to uh, go through the tiny little dialogue menu every time we want to talk to Mitsuru. Instead, that's going to be for Fuka. Neither of them seem to have a new dialogue at the moment, though. Yamagishi-kun is surprisingly skilled with technology, and she's very kind, always considering others' as feelings. Her name suits her perfectly. Fu means wind, and Ka means flowers. Like a flower, gently blowing in the... <clears throat> getting off track there. Let me think. I'm sure you've already fe you're already feeling it, but the enemies are steadily growing more powerful. Don't be satisfied with how you are now. Work on improving your strength. If you wait until after a tough battle, it'll be too late. So... Dude, I almost got in trouble with the police today. I was so damn lucky it was just a false alarm. By the way... I guess that all that talk about Fuko being sick wasn't true. At first, people were saying that she was absent because she was being bullied, but then they started saying that she was really sick. Strange, huh? She seems pretty healthy to me. I forget how close are we to... Was it the 16th that we would be harvesting our plants? I mean, it'll let us know either way. Yeah, June 16th. So we actually have something from Club Escapade that can help us out with our stuff. You remember that uh, guy who sold us stuff for way too much money? So he has some glasses that'll sell for 150,000, but if we get a black quartz, he can adjust the price. So yeah, we will not be buying this, first of all, because we can't, because it's way too much money. Second of all, because there is a way to lower the price a bit. So we'll go looking for the black quartz as well as the odd morsel for chubby student there. Or he's not there right now, but this is where he would be. So yeah, we'll have to do a lot of stuff in Tartarus. And there's some stuff that we haven't even got to that we'll also have to do in Tartarus. So next time we visit there, we'll have a lot of stuff on our plate. So yeah, not much happened today, mostly just stat raising stuff, raising our social stats with uh, the burgers, and raising our social link a bit with Yuko by praying at the shrine. Morning. I guess it's true that there have been fewer cases of apathy syndrome after our missions, but then again that changes as we get closer to the next full moon. By the way, what do you think of Kurijo senpai Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Don't you think she sort of pushed Fuka into joining too quickly? You're still going on about that? I know it's kind of nice to have more Persona users around, especially in battle, but something just doesn't feel right. You already asked my opinion on this! My language can be awfully complex. Don't you hate it when you know the meaning of a word, but you can't remember the word itself? That happens to me constantly. This feels like a good time for a spontaneous question. Let's see, you are shifting in a seat a bit too much, so instead... Listen. How about you, Yuki-kun? Which, which phrase means I'm able to see things for what they really are? Uh, that would be keen eye. That's correct. You may very well have a keen eye for yourself. Having a keen eye means you're able to see things for what they really are. It can also help you make good decisions for your future. That goes for the rest of you too. You need to learn how to look past the surface, otherwise you'll grow up to be superficial. I'm glad there won't be a full moon for a while, but I still can't help but think about it. That's the same dialogue from last time. The game does that sometimes, where it says, oh, here's a new, uh, here's some new text, but it, but it's just the same text from before. Are you psyched now that Fuka's joined the team? Uh, definitely. Right. Yeah, man, I'm totally stoked. Yeah, Fuka is a really great team member, so I'm glad to have her here finally. Miyamoto or Odagiri? We could go ahead and continue Odagiri's thing because, you know, we've been hanging out with him a lot the past few days, so might as well see him out, see out his story till the end. Appreciate if you could attend the student council meeting today. Important announcement. Representative, this video, your opinion. Regarding the incident from the other day with the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom, it seems the teachers want the student expelled as soon as we find out who it is. What? 
Well, hmm. I guess we should it have expected that. It does hurt the that. school's reputation. I'll keep everyone posted on this. That's all for now. Expulsion, huh? So, what do you think about all of this? About the smoker's punishment, I mean. Best option here is, it seems too harsh. Yes, I think so too. Once I catch the culprit, I'll give him a good talking to. The goal here should be to prevent this from happening again. I'm not counting on it, but it'd be great if I could get people like him to change their ways. I don't sympathize with students who break the rules, but does kicking the bad kids out really make the school a better place? It's really not like me to whine about it. I guess I'm just confused because I feel so powerless. If I can go above and beyond this time and earn the teacher's trust, my ward will hold more weight around here. Just you watch. I'll work my way to the top. Otakiri really opened up to me. I feel like we were becoming better friends. So yeah, he's starting to become a bit of a better person. He's really, he's really gone on an emotional journey throughout the past couple weeks. I get that they probably expected you to sort of do this social link throughout the game, but when you do it all at once, it's like, he is like, oh god, gotta catch the culprit, gotta get him out of here. And then a week later, he's like, man, we should reform the school system or something like that. Like, obviously not that crazy, but... I still have some work left to do. I need to compile a list of suspects. You can head on out of here. And take care. So yeah, that seems like it's going to be it for this episode. We, you know, experienced the urgy, and uh, we got to go ahead and see Odagiri become a slightly better person. It seems like a good place to end this off. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Oh.